In this lesson, I am going to talk about equations leading to quadratic form. There are cases wherein we will encounter equations that are not quadratic, meaning to say the exponent is already greater than 2. However, there are equations which are in quadratic form. When does this happen? If the exponent on the middle term is one half of the exponent on the leading term, then we have an equation in quadratic form and we can solve it as if it were a quadratic equation. For example, I have 3x6 plus 4x cubed minus 1. My assumption here is that the exponents are arranged in descending order. So you have 6, 3, and if you have a constant, what's the exponent of your variable x? 0, correct? Because a constant can always be written as that constant times x raised to 0, right? Now notice here that 3 is half of 6. So therefore, this equation is in quadratic form. We have to substitute a variable for the middle term. So for example, I have this equation 3x4 minus 2x squared minus 1. As I have mentioned earlier, first make sure that the terms are arranged such that the exponents of the variables are in decreasing order. The second step is to identify the exponent on the leading term and determine whether it is double the exponent on the middle term. So here, you can view it as 2 is half of 4. Or, 4 is twice of this exponent here. That should be the relationship. Of course, the last term should always be a constant. The third step is to substitute a variable such as u for the variable portion of the middle term. In this case, we will substitute a variable for x squared. Take note, we only get the variable part. We do not include the coefficient. So suppose here we say that u is equal to x squared. The next step is we rewrite the equation so that it takes on the standard form of a quadratic equation and solve. So earlier I said that we let u to be equal to x squared. Let me just write it here again. If u is equal to x squared, this means that u squared is equal to x squared squared. Or, u squared is equal to x to the 4. And then we will now substitute it here. We have 3x to the 4th is u squared. So we have 3u squared minus 2u minus 1 is equal to 0. Take note that this is now a quadratic equation, right? And we are now ready to solve for this. We factor it as, we have 3u and u here. The factors of negative 1 are negative 1 and 1. So I have, let me write negative 1 plus 1 here. Let us check if this is the correct factorization. 1 times u is u. 3u times negative 1 is negative 3 When we add correct, we get negative 2. This is equal to 0, and therefore, we can now solve for u. We set 3u plus 1 equal to 0, or u minus 1 is equal to 0. So solving for u here, we get that u is equal to negative 1 third, or u is equal to 1. But we are not yet done here. Remember that we want to solve for x, not u. Thus, we still have to replace the substitution variable with the original term in order to solve for x. Here, u is equal to x squared, and we've obtained these values. So for the first one, this is saying that x squared is equal to negative 1 third, or x squared is equal to 1. We obtain that from these two values. But can the square of a number be equal to a negative number? No. So this is impossible. No solution for that. However, for this one, x squared is equal to 1. What do we get? x is equal to 
plus or minus 1. So these are the solutions to your quadratic equation. Let's have this example, the square of x plus 2 plus 11 times x plus 2 minus 12. What can you notice here, class? Something is repeating. And what is that something? This x plus 2 over here. Correct? So therefore, what do we need to do? We have to let u be equal to that thing that is repeating, x plus 2. Hence, we now write this as u squared plus 11u minus 12. This is now factorable. What is the factorization of this? What are the factors of negative 12 that will add up to negative 11? Those are negative 12 and positive 1. This is equal to 0 and therefore we now set each of the factors to 0. We get that u is equal to negative 1 or u is equal to 12. Do not forget to switch to your original variable which is x. You have to substitute. Let me write here our u is x plus 2 so we get x plus 2 is equal to negative 1 or x plus 2 is equal to 12. So therefore here I get that x is negative 1 minus 2 so that's negative 3 or x is equal to 12 minus 2 that's equal to 10. Those are your solutions. Another example, take a look at this one. Something is repeating and what is that something? Your x squared minus 1, right? Look at that. x squared minus 1. The exponent here is 2. The exponent here is 1. This is in quadratic form. So therefore, we let u to be equal to x squared minus 1. This is now going to be u squared plus u minus 12 is equal to 0. We factor that as u plus 4 minus 3, correct? Because the factors of negative 12, which would add up to positive 1, would be 4 and negative 3. This is equal to 0. So therefore, u minus 3 is equal to 0. We're setting each of the factors to 0. We get that u is equal to 3 or u is equal to negative 4. Don't forget to substitute. We have here x squared minus 1 is equal to 3 or x squared minus 1 is equal to negative 4. This one gives us x squared is equal to 3 plus 1, 4. So therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 2. I'm just using the square root property here because I only have an x squared term. Here, what do we get? x squared equals negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. The square of a number cannot be equal to a negative number. This one here is impossible. We only want real solutions. So these are your solutions. x must be equal to plus or minus 2. For our third example over here, let me just write it in such a way that one side is equal to 0. And then look at your exponents, negative 2 thirds and negative one-third. What can you say about this two? Negative one-third is half of negative two-thirds, correct? Or you can view it as negative one-third times two is equal to negative two-thirds. And then your last term is just a constant. So this tells you that this is an equation in quadratic form. So therefore, we use a variable u what will be my u? u would be the variable in the middle term together with its exponent. So x to the negative one third. And therefore here, just so that you can see, u squared is x to the negative one third raised to two, which is exactly your x to the negative two thirds. 
Therefore, this now becomes u squared plus 5u plus 6 is equal to 0. This is factorable as u plus 3, u plus 2. So, hence, u plus 3 is equal to 0 or u plus 2 is equal to 0. We have u is equal to negative 3 or u is equal to negative 2. And switch back to your x. So, we have x to the negative 1 third is equal to negative 3 or x to the negative 1 third is equal to how do you get rid of your exponent negative one third? You just have to raise it to what exponent? You raise it to negative three. When you have a number raised to an exponent and you raise it again to another exponent, you simply multiply the exponents, correct? So in order to get rid of the exponent here, you just have to raise it to the reciprocal of that exponent. So we get x is equal to, what is the meaning of negative 3 raised to negative 3? First, what is the meaning of a negative exponent? Let us recall if you have a to the negative m, what is this? How do you turn this into a positive exponent? This is the same as 1 over a to the m. You put this in the denominator and the exponent will be positive. So let's do that here. That is 1 over negative 3 cube. So that is equal to 1 over negative 3 raised to 3 is negative 27. Similarly, for this equation over here, I will also raise it to negative 3. So we get that x is equal to 1 over 2 cube or 1 over this is now your solution set, negative 1 over 27 and 1, 8. One more example here. Notice that this is similar to your previous example because something is repeating here. And what is that something? This x minus 3 over x plus 1, correct? And then here, that something is squared. I will let u to be equal to your middle term, x minus 3 over x plus 1. This is now 2u squared plus u equals 1. Let me solve it here. First, put it in standard form. One side is equal to 0. We factor this as plus 1 minus 1. This is negative 1 times u is negative u. 2u times 1 is 2u. So we are correct. So for u, set each of the factors to 0. We get here that u is equal to 1 half or u is equal to negative 1. For our final step, let us substitute. So for the first one, we have x minus 3 over x plus 1 equals 1 half or x minus 3 over x plus 1 is equal to negative 1. Let us now solve. Take note that we just have here 1 fraction equals 1 fraction. Therefore, I can just use cross multiplication we have 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 1 times x plus 1 this is 2x minus 6 equals x plus 1 I'll put all the x on this side and the constants on this side. so we get that x is equal to 7 on this side similarly I can cross multiply the denominator here is 1. I have x minus 3 equals the negative of x plus 1. Negative 1 times x plus 1, so that's negative x minus 1. 
I'll put all the x here and all the constants here. We have 2x is equal to 2 and therefore x is equal to 1. Those are your solutions. For our last example, let me just write it in such a way that one side will be equal to 0 and the exponents are in descending order. The exponent 4 is already here, so I will collect all the terms on this side. This is 18, 3 minus 2x all over 4, raised to 4, minus 17, 3 minus 2x all over 4, raised to 2, plus 4. Look at your exponents, 4 and then this is 2. The middle exponent is half of the leading exponent. Therefore, this is an equation in quadratic form. What would be our u now? Our u would be the variable including the exponent in your middle term. So u is 3 minus 2x all over 4 squared. Just to make sure that you have the correct variable if you square that that is 3 minus 2x all over 4 squared but then again squared this one would be exponent 4 and that is exactly what you have here let me just write it with exponent 4 we are now ready to substitute we have 0 is equal to 18 this is u squared minus 17u plus 4. How do we factor this? This can be factored as 9u times 2u, that's 18u squared, minus 1 minus 4. Let's check. This is negative 8u. Outer is negative 9u. Correct. Therefore, we have 9u minus 4 equals 0 or 2u minus 1 is equal to 0. When we solve for u here, we get that u is 4 over 9 or u is equal to 1 half. These are the values that we obtained a while ago. u is equal to 4 over 9 or u is equal to 1 half. We are now ready to substitute it. We have here 3 minus 2x over 4 squared is equal to 4 over 9. How do I solve for x here? First, we can eliminate the exponent here, correct? Simply by taking plus or minus square root of both sides. So we have 3 minus 2x over 4 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 over 9 is 2 thirds. So here you have again two equations. So let me solve here first. 3 minus 2x over 4 equals 2 thirds. Here it's negative 2 thirds. You can cross multiply because this is just one fraction equals one fraction. We get 3 times 3 minus 2x is equal to 2 times 4, which is 8. This is 9 minus 6x is equal to 8. Negative 6x is equal to 8 minus 9. That's negative 1. x is equal to 1, 6. For this one, cross multiplying, we get 3 times 3 minus 2x again is equal to negative 8. 9 minus 6x is equal to negative 8. So, negative 6x is negative 8 minus 9. So, that's negative 17. Divide both sides by negative 6. We get that x is 17 over 6. Therefore, when u is equal to 4 over 9, we get that x is equal to 1, 6 or x is equal to 17 over 6. Let us do the same process when u is equal to 1 half. 
if u is equal to 1 half, let us substitute 3 minus 2x all over 4 squared again. This is equal to 1 half. We again square both sides. Plus or minus square root of 1 half. However, when we simplify that, square root of 1 half, that is square root of 1 over square root of 2. Of course, square root of 1 is just 1, so we can delete that. And when we rationalize it, multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 2, we get that that is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. For the first one, 3 minus 2x over 4 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. We again cross multiply. This is 6 minus 4x is equal to 4 square root of 2. Let me put all the x on this side so that it will be positive and all the constants on this side. So there you go. Our x here is 6 minus 4 square root of 2 all over 4. How about for the other one? 3 minus 2x over 4 is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. So we again have 6 minus 4x. This time around, it's negative 4 square root of 2. 4x is equal to... It will just become 6 plus 4 square root of 2. And we divide both sides by 4. Here is what we have obtained. When u is equal to 1, we get these two values for x. When u is equal to 4 over 9, we get these two values of x. So all in all, we have four solutions to this example.